Good morning students. Today we see about the 6th, 7th lesson, Wave Optics, the continuation of this lesson. Today we see about the topic of Fresnel's distance. In previous class we see about diffraction in a single slit. We obtained the condition for the first minimum, second minimum and the third minimum. Then the condition for the first maxima, second minima, second maxima and the third maxima. Okay. So today we see about the Fresnel's distance. Okay. First of all, the Fresnel's distance is the distance up to which the ray optic is obeyed and beyond which the ray optic is not obeyed but the wave optics become significant. See the figure 6.65. What is meant by ray optics? What is meant by wave optics? In ray optics, the light that travel through only in a straight line, isn't it? That is called as the ray optics. But in wave optics, the light can be diffracted. Diffracted means it bends the bending of light that is called as the wave optic. It is otherwise known as the diffraction. The, in, case, in this wave optics, the, we see the head the heading of diffraction diffraction means bending of light rays bending of light rays or bending of the wave light wave okay so that is called as the wave optics in ray optics we see that uh, reflection refraction then <coughs> reflection and refraction but in wave optics we see about the interference what is interference and what is diffraction okay so here see the figure 6.65 here i consider one slate i consider one source that source uh, light source i consider the light source the light source that pass through the slate when will the diffraction will happen <coughs> when will the diffraction will happen if the wavelength of the light is just comparable to the this uh, is comparable to the distance distance of the slit that is when in that case only the diffraction take place okay so when the wavelength of the light is just comparable to the distance of the slit that in that case only the diffraction takes place that means and the light to the wavelength when the, in the slit to the distance when the conjo comparable I in the matana and the diffraction will be happen okay so here consider one light source I pass through the light source. Here consider the light source. Mm. The light source that pass through the slit. Then what happened? According to the ray optics, it moves in a straight line. Okay. According to the ray optics, it moves in a straight line. But here in Fresnel distance, both ray optics and wave optics are takes place so that according to the wave optics here the light just bend okay the light just bend so this is called as the wave optics and here it obtained the ray optics here i placed one screen in that screen the center position in the center here this is the center position here only the central maxima will be produced central maxima means the do, uh, bright images are produced here bright rays are produced here so that it is called as the central maxima or you understand so that here the light will be diffracted here and diffracted here okay then next here the friends the fresnel distance is denoted as z the fresnel distance is denoted as z here the fresnel distance is denoted as z okay so that it make an angle theta it make an angle theta now i now i replace this screen to this side now i replace this screen to this side what happen it will not Move, uh, what happened it will move this side means the fresnel distance is same to that of the distance here both ray optics and wave optics are takes place okay now i just move this screen to this side this a a side what happened here also both ray optics here only the 
tests only take place there is a major there is no major place in wave optics okay so here here from this uh, from this diagram here it make the angle theta so from the diffraction equation for the first minimum what is the diffraction equation for the first minimum in previous class we already seen now i replaced this i replaced the screen to this side here both wave optics and ray optics are takes place now i replaced this screen this side okay here this side this a side what happened here uh, here the major part is take place there's only the ray optics only take place the major parts there is no wave optics taken as the major part okay so that here okay next from the diffraction equation for the first minimum in previous class we see that what is the diffraction equation for the first minimum what is the diffraction equation for the first minimum a by 2 a by 2 sin theta which is equal to lambda by 2 okay a by 2 sin theta which is equal to lambda by 2 this is the diffraction equation for the first minimum here i cancel this 2 and 2 then what is the remaining thing a sin theta which is equal to lambda okay a sin theta which is equal to lambda in next step here here a by a sin theta which is equal to lambda then next step i taken as this sin theta which is equal to lambda by a okay in previous step a sin theta which is equal to lambda and next step i taken this a into this denominator side so sin theta which is equal to lambda by a are you understand so this is the diffraction for diffraction equation for the first minimum then the next case here from the definition of the fresnel distance what is the uh, what is the fresnel distance definition here here i take this angle okay i take this theta angle then here the total distance is a the total distance of the screen is taken as a then i consider only this triangle i consider only this triangle so it make the angle a theta here the central maximum is denoted as the total distance is denoted as a then what is the distance for this side it, this is a by 2 can you understand so this side is taken as a by 2 then so that here so that i taken as the sin theta what is the formula for sin theta opposite side by hypotenuse here the theta is here so sin theta is here then what is the opposite side here i consider as this is a by 2 so a by 2 upon then what is the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse this long straight line is the hypotenuse so what is the fresnel distance ez so here also the hypotenuse value is also ez so sin theta
so that here the sin theta which is equal to a by 2 is that okay then next step the sin theta which is equal to a by 2 is that i take this 2 into denominator side so a by 2 is that here the theta is very small okay here the theta is very small so we neglect the theta so sorry here the sin t sin is very small value when compared to theta so i neglect the sign so theta which is equal to a by 2 is that theta which is equal to a by 2 is that now compare the first two equation that means compare the diffraction equation for the first minimum and compare the definition for the fresnel distance what is that here also theta is equal to lambda by a here also the theta is equal to theta is equal to lambda by a so lambda by a which is equal to here what is the theta value theta which is equal to a by 2 is that okay so theta here 2 theta is equal to a by z so that here theta is equal to a by 2 is that we consider that one so here also a by 2 is that we want only the Fresnel distance. What is the symbol for Fresnel distance? Z is referred as the Fresnel distance. So that here, see the equation 7.45. Z which is equal to A squared by 2 lambda. Okay, A squared by 2 lambda. I take this Z into this side. So Z which is equal to here 1 A, here 1 A. So A into A, A squared upon to lambda this is the fresnel distance are you understand Okay, students, so what is Fresnel distance? Fresnel distance is denoted by the symbol Z. Here the Fresnel distance is the here the Fresnel distance Fresnel distance is the distance up to which the ray optics is obeyed and beyond which the ray optic is not obeyed. But the wave optics become significant. Okay, this is called as the Fresnel distance. Okay, here in Fresnel distance both wave optics and ray optics are obtained. At one certain conditions only ray optics only uh, obeyed, uh, only obtained. The wave optics are, does not take in the major rule. Okay, so that here we consider that we consider one light source that light source is passed see the figure 6.65 that light source, light source is passed through the slit i placed one screen here that light that touched the screen and it produces a central maximum at the center then it produces the diffraction also because it obey both ray optics and wave optics so that only it uh, takes both ray optics and wave optics so that the light rays get diffracted here this one and this one the light rays get diffracted here the fresnel distance is taken as z now i play replace the screen into this side means here also it obeys the both ray optics and wave optics now i replace the screen into this side that is taken as a uh, here only the ray optics only taken as the major role there is no major role in wave optics so here the fresnel distance is taken as z now i consider this it make an angle theta so that I consider this triangle that is this theta a triangle uh, from the what is the equation for the diffraction for first minimum sin theta a by 2 sin theta which is equal to lambda by 2 okay so that from that equation we obtain the relation as sin theta which is equal to lambda by a here the sin value is very small when compared to theta so I neglect that sign so theta is equal to lambda by a this is considered equation number 1 then what is the definition for Fresnel distance here here also it make the angle theta so i consider the sin theta sin theta which is what is the formula for sin theta sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse side here this is the sin theta here the total distance is taken as a so what is the remaining distance here one triangle is there here one triangle is there so here a by 2 here a by 2 total a can you understand so that what is the um, formula for sin theta sin theta which is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse theta is here so what is the opposite side this side okay so what is the value for this side a by 2 so sin theta which is equal to a by 2 upon then what is the hypotenuse side is that because <coughs> 
this is the hypotenuse side because this is the fresnel distance so this is equal to this side because this is our parallel line okay so are you understand so here the hypotenuse value is z so sin theta which is equal to a by 2 upon z i have taken this 2 into this side so sin theta which is equal to a by 2 z sin theta which is equal to a by 2 z now here also the sin value is very small when compared to theta so i neglect the sign so what is the remaining theta so theta which is equal to a by 2 z this is taken as equation number 2 now you have to compare the first equation and second equation what is the first equation theta is equal to lambda by a then what is the second equation theta is equal to a by 2 z ok so both are theta so we have to compare these two equations so lambda by a which is equal to a by 2 z lambda by a which is equal to a by 2 z now we have to array rearrange this equation we want only the fresnel distance so what is the letter for fresnel distance z so we want only the value for z so z which is equal to here 1 a here 1 a so a into a a square upon 2 lambda this is the fresnel distance are you understand ok next topic is the difference between take the page number 74 difference between the interference and diffraction okay difference between interference and diffraction here it is the difficult to find the difference between interference and diffraction as they both exhibit the wave nature of light interference also exhibit the wave nature of light diffraction also exhibit the wave nature of light in both the phenomena the light reaches the geometrically shadowed region and also interfere to produce the maxima and minima in both cases in both interference and diffraction it produces the maxima and minima nevertheless based on the appearance the differences are given the differences are given <coughs> nevertheless the in interference the superposition is given importance and in diffraction the bending of light is given importance in a uh, in interference superposition is given as the more importance but in diffraction bending of light is given as the more importance the difference between interference and diffraction based on the appearance of their patterns are given okay so see the table 7.2 the difference between interference and diffraction okay here interference what is that interference equally spaced bright and dark fringes are produced equally spaced bright and dark fringes are produced here the in diffraction the central bright is double the size of other fringes central bright is double the size of other fringes interference la vande ella band me bright um dark fringes um equal a space a irukku ipo ore idu bright a irundhuchna next adhe space la da dark okay so that here the equally spaced bright and dark fringes are obtained in interference but in diffraction the central bright is double the size of other fringes central evlo irukko adha vida double double the size of the other fringes will obtained in the diffraction okay the next equal intensity for all bright fringes already we see the equally spaced dark and bright fringes are obtained in interference here also the equal the fringes intensity is also equal bright fringes which is in the intensity of bright fringe which is equal to the intensity of dark fringe so the equal intensity will be obtained then in diffraction intensity falls rapidly for higher order fringes okay so here the higher order fringes only uh, the intensity is high lower order fringes obtain the lower intensity in interference large number of fringes are obtained but in diffraction less number of fringes in obtained okay so this is the difference between interference and diffraction okay in interference equally spaced bright and dark fringes are obtained but in diffraction the central bright is only double the size of other fringes okay that is unequally spaced fringes are obtained in diffraction then uh, in interference the intensity is equal for all the fringes but in uh, diffraction the intensity falls rapidly for the higher order lower order contain the low intensity range then 
in interference the large number of fringes are obtained but in interdiffraction the less number of fringes are obtained this is the difference between interference and diffraction or you understand okay students next we see about the resolution next we see about the resolution take page number 77 take page number 77 resolution what is mean by resolution resolution power do you hear this word resolution power evlo alavu adoda power vande intensity vande adhigama irukku abingiradha enna the resolution okay so here the effect of diffraction has an adverse effect in the sharpness of the image formed there is always a spread of central maximum in the image for every point of the object for every point of the object act as a point source the condition for central maximum or the first minimum produced by the rectangular slit is given by the equation 7.37 is given by the equation 7.37 Three seven that is a sine theta which is equal to lambda. We already know that a by two sine theta which is equal to lambda by two. This two two will be cancelled and finally we get a sine theta which is equal to lambda. So this is the central maximum. We already know that the central maximum uh, image only have the highest intensity and have the, have the highest resolution power. But a circular slit. This uh, central slit is appeared as a rectangular slit. If we put a torch, which we put a wall, and if you we put a torch, which wall, add it, or not, it will be central. There will be some of the fringes which is appeared at the rectangular in shape. Then that is the circular. There will be some of the circular. Okay, so that is called as the central maximum. But a yes, circular slit produces the diffraction pattern. then k okay, circular only produces the diffraction pattern now here this is the torch the wall okay here this is the wall means the central light source is appeared at the rectangular like slit then this side and this side it produces the circular circular in shape that is called as the diffraction diffraction can okay, you understand so that here so that here but a circular slit produces the diffraction pattern of the concentric circle it produces the concentric circle see the figure 7.23 see the figure 7.23 here what is that here this is the slit that is called as the airy disc okay this is called as the airy disc the slit is there that means uh, here we consider this is as the torch light okay now what happen the light rays at that enter that pass through that screen then uh, it uh, reaches the wall and it forms as the circular disc like structure this is called as the airy disc these are known as the airy disc most of the optical instrument most of the optical instrument form images of object only through the circular disc okay the condition for the central maximum or the first minimum for the circular slit is a sin theta which is equal to 1.22 lambda a sin theta which is equal to 1.22 lambda here the numerical value 1.22 comes for the central maximum formed by the circular aperture this involves higher level mathematics which is avoided in this discussion okay so this is the um, numerical value for the central maximum underline that 1.22 is the numerical value for the central maximum okay then next for the small angles we consider this is a sin theta here the sin value is very small so negative at the sin and sin theta which is equivalent to theta value okay so that the above equation become a theta instead of sin we put only theta because the sin value is very small when compared to theta so we neglect the sin so a theta which is equal to 1.22 lambda a theta which is equal to 1.22 lambda 
consider this is equation number 3 what is the first equation that is the equation for the central maximum a sin theta which is equal to lambda okay then what is the second equation a sin theta which is equal to 1.22 lambda then what is the third equation here the sign value is very small so we neglect that sign value so that here a theta which is equal to 1.22 lambda this is the third equation then rewriting further theta which is equal to we want only the theta value so theta is equal to 1.22 lambda upon a and r naught by f which is equal to 1.22 this theta is replaced by r naught by f 1.22 lambda upon a <coughs> then from the geometry here theta which is equal to r naught by f substituting for theta in this equation we obtain the value for r naught which is equal to uh, r naught which is equal to 1.22 lambda into f i take this f to this side so 1.22 lambda f by a 1.22 lambda f by a this is the r naught value for example let two point sources two point sources close to each other of light close to each other form the image on the screen okay two point sources end point sources at the cone that will be close to each other that two point sources are just close to each other it forms the images on the screen okay now the diffraction pattern of one point source can overlap with another and produce a blurred image அப்போ என்னதாகும் ஒரு ஒரு சோர்ஸில் இருக்கக்கூடிய டிஃப்ராக்ஷன் பேட்டர்ன் இன்னொரு ஸ்லோஸ் க்ளோடை போய் ஓவர்லாப் ஆகும்போது இட் ப்ரொடியூசஸ் ஏ பிளர்டு இமேஜ் த இமேஜ் வில் நாட் பி சீன் கிளியர்லி இட் மீ ஏ பிளர்ட் இமேஜ் கே ஆர் நான் ரிசால்ட் இமேஜ் இட் இஸ் அதர்வைஸ் நோன் அஸ் த நான் ரிசால்ட் இமேஜ் சீ த ஃபிகர் செவன் பாயிண்ட் டூ ஃபோர் செவன் பாயிண்ட் டூ ஃபோர் ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் அன்ரிசால்ட் இமேஜ் ஆர் பிளர்டு இமேஜ் கே ஏன்னா ரெண்டு ஒரு இதுக்கு மேலே இன்னொரு இது போய் ஓவரில் பார்க்குறதுனால இட் கேன் நாட் பி சீன் கிளியர்லி இட்ஸ் ஈஸியாக இட்ஸ் இட் லுக் லைக் ஏ பிளட் இமேஜ் ஆர் அன்ரிசால்ட் இமேஜ் கே தென் டு அப்டைன் ஏ டு அப்டைன் த குவாலிட்டி இமேஜ் ஆர் வெல் ரிசால்ட் இமேஜ் இப்போ நமக்கு குவாலிட்டியான இமேஜோ வெல் ரிசால்ட் நல்ல ஒரு கிளியர் இமேஜ் வேணும்னா த டூ பாயிண்ட் சோர்ஸ் மஸ்ட் பி kept apart in each in such a way that their diffraction pattern do not overlap but in first case the two sources are just close to each other isn't it so that only the diffraction of one source is overlap to the diffraction of another lobe it produces a blurred image in second case if we want a clear image or resolved image means we want to place the two sources in a distance okay we want to place the two sources in a distance then only it cannot overlap the diffractions of two sources and it produces the resolved image or a clearly quality image have you all understand okay next then the two point sources must be kept apart in such a way that their diffraction pattern do not overlap as shown seen the figure 7.24c okay here the well resolved picture ஃபஸ்ட்டு என்ன பண்ணுறோம் ரெண்டும் க்ளோஸாக வைக்கிறோம் அப்போ நமக்கு பிளட் இமேஜ் கிடைக்கிது தட் இஸ் த அன்ரிசால்ட் இமேஜ் கே சி த ஃபிகர் ஏ செவன் பாயிண்ட் டூ ஃபோர் ஏ தென் நவ் ஜஸ்ட் அவே ஃப்ரம் த டூ சோர்சஸ் கே நான் இப்போது ரெண்டு சோர்சஸையும் கொஞ்சம் டிஸ்டன்ஸில் தள்ளி தள்ளி வைக்கிறோம் நவ் இட் ஜஸ்ட் ரிசால்ட் இமேஜஸ் வில் பி அப் அப்பியர் கே நவ் த டூ சோர்சஸ் ஆர் கேப்ட் apart k okay. it make a long distances the two sources are placed in a long distances far away from each other what happen it produces the well resolved images it produces the well resolved images have you all understand the resolution power is also very high in this case according to Rayleigh criterion Rayleigh criterion that is the second case is called as the Rayleigh criterion the two point sources are said to be just resolved when the distance between the two maxima is at least or not the angular resolution has a unit in radian and it is given by the equation theta which is equal to 1.22 lambda by a okay so this is the r not value according to rayleigh criterion the two points on an average image are said to be just resolved when the central maximum of one diffraction pattern coincide with the first minimum of the other and vice versa okay one maxima the central maxima is coincide touch with the another 
minimum okay so that only this just result image will be produced in other word the distance between the two central maxima must be at least r not hence r not is called as the spatial resolution underline that underline the dead spatial resolution okay given by the equation 7.54 this is called as the spatial resolution r not which is equal to 1.22 lambda f by a this is called as the spatial resolution and the corresponding theta is said to be the angular resolution okay that r not is called as the spatial resolution and the theta is called as the angular resolution given by the equation 7.53 theta which is equal to 1.22 lambda by a have you all understand it shows that for better resolution the wavelength of the light used must be as small as possible and the size of the aperture of the instrument must be as large as possible the ability of an optical instrument to distinguish the two closely adjacent object or the two point on the same object is said to be the resolving power of the instrument in general the term resolution is pertaining to the quality of image already i said what is meant by resolution it is the quality of image whether the image is is blurred or it will be a clear that is called as the resolution and that time resolving power is associated with the ability of optical instrument resolution and resolving power or the reciprocal of each other okay resolution and the resolving power or the reciprocal of each other have you all understand so this is called as the resolution in resolution the effect of diffraction first we consider that the central maxima that is a sin theta which is equal to lambda in the central position it produces a rectangular image and the diffracted side it produces the circular image that circular disk is called as the airy disk okay the circular disk is called as the airy disk here the a sin theta which is equal to 1.22 lambda why here we consider that 1.22 that is the numerical value so that the numerical value for the central maximum is 1.22 okay here the angle sin theta is very small so it is compared to theta okay it is equivalent to theta so sin theta which is equivalent to theta so that a theta which is equal to that equation 7.52 becomes a theta which is equal to 1.22 lambda have you all understand then next here we want only the theta value so theta which is equal to 1.22 lambda by a that is equation number 7.53 this theta is called as the angular resolution this theta is called as the angular resolution from the geometry the theta value which is equal to r not by f okay so we have to substitute the theta value in equation 7.53 now that equation becomes instead of this theta we have to put r not by f i take this f to this side so r not which is equivalent to 1.22 lambda f by a this r not is called as the spatial resolution and theta is called as the angular resolution okay for example now we consider the two point sources here three cases are there in first case the two point sources are kept just close to each other what happen it produces the two point sources are produces the diffraction one diffraction is can overlap the other diffraction so that image is not very clear okay it produces a blurred image or unresolved image this is the first case in second case Uh, now it is just kept apart k okay? not uh, very much distance not in very much distance it just kept apart little distance only is there so that what happened that uh, the central maxima will overlap the central minima of another diffracted light k okay? so that here the just resolved images is produced in the third case now the two sources are kept far away kept far away it it cannot overlap one to each other so that it produces a well resolved image or it produces a clear image have you all understand so this is the resolution okay so today we see about the fresnel distance what is fresnel distance fresnel distance is denoted by the symbol z okay so z which is equal to
a squared upon 2 lambda this is the equation for the fresnel distance and finally we see about the risk then we see about the what is the difference between interference and diffraction then in last we see about the resolution what is resolution then one uh, small derivation is there uh, air is disc then what is the angular the angular resolution and what is the spatial resolution okay have you all understand okay students I, I hope you all complete the record if you are not completed means just complete the record okay so don't waste the time i have given some question you study that question and come okay so thank you students